imagine sitting there, you want to be a wife, you want to be loyal. How, how can you do that if you're practicing, you know, sucking fun dip every week? You're not practicing cooking, you're not practicing mental health, you're not practicing how to talk to him, how to cater, how to be submissive, and how to talk to him in a nurturing way. You're practicing sucking pee pee, that's not the same thing. But that's, what if that's not what you want? What if you don't want to be? I, I'm only speaking on women who like want to be wives. All the other OF hoes and all those type of girls, I'm not talking about. Not you, but like, you know. He was listening to my conversation with Brian. Sergeant Walters makes a startling discovery. You know, let me ask you something, um, because this is disturbing to me, and I was hoping it wasn't true. The necklace you got on, mm -hmm. tell me about it. Um, one of the people... One of the 14-year-old girls gave you the necklace. 15, gave me the okay. necklace. You're not going to get to keep that. Okay, thank you. What is the necklace? It's just a necklace that, like, a, you know, what do you call it? Like so the best friend necklace, she got the other half of a 15-year-old girl. Is that accurate? That's correct. Yeah. You and you don't so think wrong with that? Let, let, me, let me understand this. So this necklace was given to you by one of your 15-year-old victims. And she has the other half of that? Mm -hmm. A 15-year-old girl. Well, she bought both halves, yeah. And she's like, I wanted to have someone to have this. She was going to give it to one of her little siblings. She said, but she said, do you want this? And I'm like... Oh, I Wait a minute. Know. You're wearing the necklace oh, yeah. of a... That a 15-year-old girl gave you, a 15-year-old girl you read. It's a piece of jewelry word. that I was just kept aware because I don't have a necklace. That one of your victims gave you. Pretty twisted, bro. Is it? Seems like it. You tell I me. Just, I just took it as a gift from somebody. As a gift from a girl you read. Um, <laughs> statutory rape. Y'all, please. I, if I'm being aggressive, if I'm being masculine, if I'm overstepping boundaries, excuse me. But I just have to say something. I am really sick and tired of seeing videos like this where everybody's just treating the person who literally R-worded a child like if there's some sweet little guy. Oh, he has a mental illness. Oh, he's this. Oh, he's that. Snatch that chain off of his neck because he shouldn't even have that. And the fact that when the man said, oh, yeah, the 14-year-old girl that you R-worded, he has the nerve to go, up oh, 15. I would have... Putasos, way putasos. What are you, what are you correcting me for, dude? Like you're already in the wrong. You're already in handcuffs. What, what do you need to correct me for? You're going to jail forever. Well, correction. We already know how they do men who touch little kids. The fact that they get two, three months, a year, maybe in jail, and a slap on the back with, oh, he's mentally ill. Nah, we need to stop doing that because you weren't mentally ill when you were doing the act. You weren't mentally ill when you were traumatizing a young girl or a young boy. I think it's so disgusting. And look, I'm even getting passionate. I think it's really disgusting to see that these people get off so easy. And that's the reason why it keeps happening because nobody does anything about this. You mean to tell me somebody could have a, a little bit of mota? They're in jail for 20 years. You see what I'm saying? But then people like this get a slap on the wrist. Go ahead, buddy. And they just keep, keep letting this happen. And it's disgusting to me, y'all. I'm sorry, but I feel like there needs to be harder laws on people like this. Like we need to be more strict and put our foot down. Protecting the kids should be everything. If you guys don't know, sex trafficking is at an all-time high, especially in Las Vegas. It's so sad, you guys, that they're so nice and lenient to somebody like this. I'm glad that these type of men exist. This is the reason why I say for a lot of women who don't get this, stop feminizing our men. Stop making men feminine. You know why? Because when we need protection and we need th things to happen in this world, who do you think deals with men like this? It ain't us. It's the strong men. You see why I always talk about men in such a big way? This is why. Because we need men to be face front of things to protect us when we need it. I'm getting hella passion. Let me calm the hell down. I hope you guys understand the severity of what happens when you are R-worded or, you know, touched as a child. Two things can happen. Either one, you can be so messed up in the head that psychologically it messes you up. A lot of those kids go through depression, suicidal issues, wetting the bed. Not even wanting to be touched by anybody. And guess what happens in their, their life when they get to adulthood? They won't even want to do things with their partner. And they will not be able to do things with their partner because you know why? PTSD. They might not even want to be touched. And that's so sad that somebody's life got ruined at such a young age, and young age and it wasn't even their choice. Do you know how sad that makes me, you guys? Do you know how awful that is to put that on a child? who should be living and having fun. And now here's the other side of it. Now, if you were to do that to a, a child and they become hypersexual and they're out here, you know, fucking and sucking everything that moves, do you know that's the cause of why a lot of people are promiscuous? Because they can't control it. But a lot of people don't want to talk about this. A lot of people are afraid to talk about these things. 
We as human beings need to do better in protecting our kids. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of parents, and I'm not trying to shame people, y'all need to keep your kids close to you, y'all. And you need to be very careful with who are around your kids. And you need to be teaching your kids these things that even family members, even people close to them can do this type of stuff. You need to teach them about no-no spots. You need to teach them about safe zones, things like that, y'all. And you need to be a parent that's able to communicate with your child without making them feel scared to come to you. I pray to God that any parent who's going through this or any child who's going through this, that you get the help that you deserve. And I pray to God that God is with you. This is so sad, you guys. I'm so tired of seeing videos like this. And a woman sent me this because I'm always talking about men. I hope you guys understand that when I advocate for men, this is not the man I'm advocating for. What the heck? I'm advocating for good men. I'm advocating for the men out there who are, you know, building buildings for us to survive. Men that are electricians, men that are good fathers, high value men that take care of their families and provide. I'm not talking about men who mollywop women. I'm not talking about men who put their hands on kids. This is not the men I'm defending. So please don't ever misconstrue what I'm talking about. I never would ever support a man who causes harm to anybody. Y'all, we need to really do better in this life and they need to put a stop to men like this. That's enough of this sweet, calm, and collective stuff because was that guy sweet, calm, and collective with that girl? He R-worded that 14-year-old girl. Do you understand what's going to happen to her in life? I feel so bad for little kids who go through that. Like I said, you probably wouldn't understand, especially if you haven't gone through it. But this type of stuff is the reason why a lot of girls don't like to be touched. This is the reason why a lot of women are so scared of men because of stuff like this. And if you don't know a woman's past, there are some women who have an excuse to be scared. I'm sorry. Unless you've ex experienced this amount of abuse, you would never understand. But God bless y'all. I just pray to God that you guys understand. Like, Jesus, we need to do something about the way this world is set up, y'all. And, like, whoever's up there handling all the laws and all that, you guys are you guys are whack. You ain't doing the job. You're just giving these men a slap on the back and saying, go ahead, brother. You have mental illness. No, he doesn't. If you guys can put uh, dogs down for biting somebody, um, put that sick puppy down. I don't care if this gets me banned. I don't care if, oh, you're being dramatic. Nah, dude. This is why people keep doing the same things they keep doing. Because there's no rules and there's no, nobody's getting consequences for the things they do anymore. And it's really sad. But God forbid somebody smokes a J 20,000 years. Like, dude, what? And I got to add one more thing. The reason why this bothers me so much is how chill he is. How nonchalant he is about wearing a girl's necklace that he literally physically harmed. You see how he doesn't have sympathy? You see how he doesn't care? So why are we sitting here going, hmm, let me make sure he's okay. Let's see if his mental health... He doesn't care about her. Why should we care about men like that? Does that make sense? It bothers me to see that, like... I'm sorry, y'all. I couldn't be a police officer. Because I'd be one of the ones with them sticks. I'm sorry. Not for everybody. Just for men like him.